Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Taylor, Dr. Taylor Burrows. Today we're talking about deal breakers, must-haves, and trade-offs, and how these apply to my vetting system. So between the deal breakers, the must-haves, and the trade-offs, uh, a lot of people get these confused and a lot of people don't distinguish between them. Like the things that are non-negotiable are your deal breakers and your must-haves. The trade-offs are the negotiable things. But most people err on the side of creating a long list of deal breakers when it doesn't really help you in the process of finding your ideal partner. Basically, what I'm talking about is a false positive and a false negative. A false positive is accepting someone, like escalating the situation with someone because you think they're good enough when they're not. And a false negative is ruling them out when they're actually good enough. So this is what I want to protect you from doing, making these errors so that you have the best chance of finding your ideal partner to create your ideal relationship with. So deal breakers, this needs to be the short list. Right? Most people, they, their ego takes over and they just start, like, they, making, they make this ridiculous list of things that are, of deal breakers that are not realistic. I mean, even if you were like, I don't know, an A-list celebrity with your pick of the litter, right? Like you still probably aren't perfect. So you need to get over yourself and understand that there are going to be some things that you need to trade off that have to be negotiable. But the things that are your deal breakers are going to be like really big issues, like meta principles. It could be, you know, obviously you don't want to be disrespected. You don't, uh, you don't accept infidelity. Perhaps like you're against drugs or alcohol or tobacco or religion is a deal breaker, right? If they're not your religion, that's a deal breaker. So some of these things are major. The clients that I work with on my matchmaking, especially the location is very important. So if relocating to a particular area is a deal breaker, then that needs to be clarified. So your deal breakers need to be clear and you need to understand the implications there, like what that limits you from accessing, but also it needs to be a short list. You need to put your ego aside and understand that a lot of the things that you think are on your deal breaker list are really just preferences. So preference list is also kind of implied in this video today. So anything that you don't really have a place to put is on a preference list, something that you'd like to see or not see or vice versa. So the second list that is really important is your must have list. So this is also something that you need to be clear on. It needs to be your shared values, the meta principles that you need to see reflected in the other person. And a lot of times people confuse this with very specific behavior. So I have to really emphasize the importance of recognizing going bigger, right? Like if you are a, let's say you're like a gym person and you want someone who's health conscious and fit, your meta principle, your core value, your must have is someone who is healthy and fit, not they're a weightlifter or they're a runner or they're a swimmer or whatever, right? Like the specific behaviors that demonstrate the meta principle that is your must have needs to be clarified. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, I'm trying to think of another one. Oh, food. So let's say you are very, you know, particular about your diet. You want to be healthy. So you might be a carnivore, but they might be a pescatarian, right? But they're very health conscious in regards to their diet. And so are you. The meta principle though, that you want to look for is someone who is accommodating or collaborative or receptive or understanding, right? Those are the meta principles that you're looking for. So your must haves need to be very big um, and also a short list, right? but you need to know what you, what matters to you and what your standards are, because that's where your must haves reside. So it could be particular to any quality that defines you and it requires your own self awareness and confidence because the more you know who you are and what doesn't work for you, the better you're going to be able to communicate what you require in the other person.
And so the last one being trade-offs. These are the negotiables. You, these are the things that you recognize about yourself, right? Your weaknesses, your limitations, the things that make you imperfect. And it's not always easy to identify those or admit those, but you at least need to admit them to yourself. You don't always have to be verbal about it to the other person, but you need to be honest, you know, like, are you neurotic or are you out of shape? Are you older? Are you not that attractive? Um, are you less fertile for women? Uh, I'm trying to think of other things. There's so many things that could make you imperfect, right? Like maybe you are insecure. A lot of ladies are insecure. A lot of men are also insecure, actually. Um, maybe you're inadequate in bed and, and you feel guilty about that. Whatever the trade-off is in the other person, it's going to be reflective of your own imperfections. So recognizing that you have them, but not necessarily defining your value by them, right? Like everybody is imperfect. So you're recognizing that you need to be realistic. If you find someone, and my formula for an ideal relationship is logic plus desire plus love, right? So if you find someone that, that has all of those elements, they might not all be a 10 out of 10, but that's okay, right? The trade-off it comes in the area of like not being perfect in every every particular category so you know that this person is the whole package because they they tick i don't like to say tick every box but let's say they meet every criteria just they're not like you know skyrocketed on every criteria and so the trade-off comes when you recognize well you know what i can't be that picky that i'm gonna rule out someone amazing because i think there's someone amazing -er. That's just ridiculous. So you need to be grounded and you need to be humble in order to understand what's truly important. When you find someone that meets that ideal partner criteria across the board, go for it. It's very hard to find someone that meets all of them. They don't have to be 10 out of 10, just like let's say six out of 10 on each one. You can be happy on someone who's not perfect for you and especially you know, the higher up you are in age or the lower you are in attractiveness, I'm just being honest, um, you really need to consider those factors because there's so many people that just for some reason or another, they carry so many expectations on the other person when they're not really realistic about themselves. And so I'm here to tell you, it's okay. You will find the person that you adore and you love and you feel like your best self with, but they're not gonna be perfect either. So keep that in mind and keep the faith and understand that there is a system to this that does work and that it's really important for you to know yourself well and to identify what your must-haves are, what your deal breakers are, and what your trade-offs could be. You might not know what all your trade-offs are, but at least you're aware that there are gonna be some trade-offs because you know yourself and you know what you need and what is kind of like an option. I hope that clarifies things for you today. Definitely take uh, a peek at my comments below in the description section and check out the links. Subscribe to this channel, like this video, and hopefully I'll talk to you soon. Ciao!